Hi everyone. So today we will talk about InDesign and InCopy workflow and how uh, different designers and collaborators uh, they can work on uh, their individual stories. So first of all, uh, we have to make uh, we have to create the user for on InDesign. So if I go to file and click on user, so it has my name and I can give a color as per uh, my choice. So I click on OK. Now I create a new file on InDesign. So this is a file on InDesign. Let's add uh, one more page to it. And if I go to the page number one, so let's uh, create some text boxes so that we can assign them, assign these as stories to different editors. So I'll, I'll just create two text boxes over here and over here I'll just type for editor one and the same I'll just copy and paste it on the second page as well and over here I'll just give it as for editor two. Now my both pages have been created. Let's go ahead and save this file. I'll just name it as IDIC and I click on save. Now uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, create assignments for different editors. So for example you are working in a newspaper and you have different columns. So it's not like you only work on one file. So what you do is you create a master InDesign file and in that you create different assignments that you can assign to different editors. So how you can open the assignment panel you can always go to a window and editorial and go to assignments now this assignment panel is open all right now what we'll do is we'll create a new assignment let it called as editor one and i can give a color as per my choice i give it as red and you can see uh, it will create a new file with the name icma and this is the location i just click on ok and let's create one more assignment editor 2 and I'll give it as yellow click on ok now you can see there are two assignments what I'll do is I'll go to page number one and I select this text box so this is the part which I have to give to editor number one I'll just drag and drop this part over here and click on ok now you can see there is a globe icon globe icon means anyone can uh, edit this particular file so this is now a story that can be uh, assigned to some editors now i'll do the same thing with uh, the page number two as well i'll drag it and i'll keep it as editor two all right so now i have two assignments uh, one is this one and one is this one and if i expand this panel you can see there are some changes in editor one assignment and editor two and i can just click on here and update all assignments and if I go over there you can see there is a new folder that has been created IDIC assignment and it has in editor 1 ICMA and editor 2 ICMA so these files are located on my hard drive and these can be open on in copy now there are two terms one is checkout and one is check-in so checkout means you uh, right now I cannot uh, work on this assignment so if I double click on it uh, if I try to type you can see you must check out of the contents so I have to check it out so how I will check out I can just right click on it go to in copy and check out now you can see uh, the globe icon has been changed to the pencil icon it means that now I can edit this document so on InDesign there is one more option that is track changes so you have to make sure that you enable this track changes and this track changes option will only be enabled when you are in editing mode so if i check out then uh, check in again then this option will not be available so now it will start tracking the changes i'll just type something and i'll just copy it and paste it a few times now i just go ahead and file and save and if I right click on it and go to in copy and check in again 
so it will just save all of my changes and now you can see the globe icon again appeared if i right click on it and edit in story editor you can see it has my color so this means and if i go to track changes you can see my name that this part has been done by nikhil gupta now let's go to in copy and let's try to work on these assignments on in copy again you go to uh, file and go to user and you can give uh, your username i named it as nikhil test and give the color as forest i click on okay now let's try to open the uh, icml file so i just click on over here and i'll open the editor 2 dot icml so you can see uh, these all uh, the content what i have uh, done in the indesign file now if i go to changes you can see the track changes is not enabled because uh, the file is still we have to check out if i go to check out now i am in editing mode you can see over here and if i go to changes you can see the track changes uh, is enabled now there are three views in in copy one is gallery view uh, which will give you some point breaks one two three uh, the line breaks and all the story view also give you the line break and the layout view will give you the actual view what you see on in design so if i go to story and i'll just type something now you can see the color has changed because i have given uh, the forest to uh, my user this is my second page so i'll just go ahead and save it save content now this icm file is uh, saved i'll go ahead and check in again if i go back to indesign you can see uh, there is some changes in that particular uh, icm file i'll just go over here and i refresh this so the changes has been done you can see uh, there is this is my second page as i mentioned like uh, there is an option for track changes so track changes will only be uh, enabled when uh, you check out so if i go ahead and uh, add it with story editor so you can see over here in the story editor this text has been done by nikhil gupta and this text has been done by uh, nikhil test so this is how you can track changes and if i go ahead and uh, go to in copy and check out now i'm in editing mode and again if i go to story editor over here you can see uh, this has been done by nikhil test and if i accept these changes then these uh, words will appear over here if i reject it then uh, this will be removed so if i click on over here and uh, reject change so you can see uh, this file has been created and in this column uh, these changes uh, were rejected and uh, it's no longer showing on the indesign file so i just go ahead and uh, save this file so this is the assignment based workflow and let's talk more about the track changes part all right so let's talk more about the track changes so i'll just go ahead and open the editor one.icm file so you can see it's a blank file and i just go over here and go to checkout so i just click on checkout and the editing mode is on and i have to make sure that the track changes is enabled so you can see the track changes is enabled now uh, let's try to type something this is my third page i'll just copy it and paste it a few times this is my last page I go ahead and file and s save the content and then I check in all. Let's go back to InDesign. So you can see uh, in editor one, this page is uh, not up to date. So I just update it and you can see over here. If, if I want to see uh, the track changes, I can just right click on it and edit in story editor. So you can see uh, the color which has been defined on in copy uh, as forest. So it's showing my color. And if I click on this part, you can see the nickel test has been, uh, this text has been added by nickel test. Now, whether I want to accept these changes or not, I'll just go ahead and uh, 
uh, go to in copy and check out so I have the editing part now I'll again open the story editor edit in story editor I can see okay uh, this text has been done by Nikhil and whether I want to accept it or not so I don't want to accept uh, these three the last three lines so I just click on no now you can see the text has been disappeared over here and I just go ahead and file and click on save now uh, let's go back to in copy let's go over here and open my first assignment once again now again I will go ahead and check out so I am in editing mode and make sure the track changes is enabled I'll just go ahead and remove these two lines so you can see how uh, if I remove something this is how it's gonna appear in the story mode means uh, this thing has been done by Nikhil so I'll just go ahead and file and save content and go ahead and check. go ahead and check in all okay now let's go back to InDesign and you can see uh, there are some changes in this assignment I just click on that and you can see the text has been removed if I go over here and edit in story editor so this is the thing uh, if I go to track changes deleted text and it has been done by Nikhil Gupta and again if I have to accept it or not go to in copy check out and now if I go back to story editor now if I select this text I do not want this uh, editor to delete this I'll just reject this now you can see the text again appeared on uh, over here so this is how uh, you can track changes and uh, what designers have worked on the file and the assignments so this all will be covered in the track changes and you can see uh, maybe you can see different colors based on the designers who are working on this file and the color they have chosen all right so there is one more workflow i wanted to talk about that is the remote workflow so it could be possible that uh, that other designer or the collaborator who has to work on this story does not have uh, access to the server or the space where you are saving the file so in that case if the designer or the collaborator is in a different location and cannot access uh, the location where you have in design and in copy file so what you do is you send them as an assignment file so for example this is uh, the assignment that is for editor one i want to share it with the uh, outside collaborator so i just click on that i select this uh, editor one and i go over here and package for in copy so if i select this give the name as editor one in copy i'm saving it inside this i go to save now uh, you can see this assignment is already packaged so if I open uh, this uh, over here you can see it created an iCap file so iCap file can be open on in copy now as a designer so the in copy designer they will open the iCap file I go to file and open and in design in copy and I can see there's an iCap file so I just click on open and uh, this my uh, the assignment has been created uh, open i again will do the same thing go to file and check out work on this file this is my file and new changes for remote workflow so this is my file so as a designer what i have to do is once i uh, once I finish my changes I just go ahead and file and save content so once I'm done with my changes I'll just go ahead and check in and what I have to do is I go to file and package return for InDesign so what it will do is it will create an IDAP file I will just go ahead and return for InDesign and InDesign so where it is going InDesign in copy I just click on save now this file has been saved as an IDAP file so as an InDesign uh, user so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and 
open package and I'll just click on this IDAP file click on OK and you can see uh, my first assignment there are some changes if I just go over here and update all assignments so you can see uh, the changes what has been done by the other designer and this those has been updated on uh, InDesign as well so again I can uh, review these changes I can just go ahead and you can see uh, this change has been done by uh, Nikhil so this is how uh, the remote workflow uh, works like if the designer and the collaborator is not in the same office or is in the same space hope this worked